All right, YouTube, we are back. I want to show you a video um, of what to do if you've damaged your iPhone 5 or 4's uh, polarizer. This is a particular iPhone 5 screen. Um, removing it from the glass with an LCD separator, I damaged uh, the corner. Um, and I've tried this uh, a couple of times with, uh, with no success. I have a, a hot sticker remover, which is really just a soldering iron with a little attachment to a, a put a blade onto. Normally it comes with a standard uh, razor blade uh, that you'd see in a lot of cutting knives. Um, the problem is, is that it scratched a few times as I was uh, trying to remove it because the, the blade was too small. So I went and bought one of these uh, larger razor blades and affixed it into uh, the hot blade remover. Uh, and this definitely works a thousand times better. Um, this really removes almost all the adhesive as you take it off as well. Um, the goal is to angle it downwards. Um, not a ton, you don't want to dig into the screen itself, but just enough to uh, start to make sure you hit the glass. Now, I'm moving it back and forth. I'm just kind of rocking it a little bit to uh, get a little bit easier use. Now, now that I know this is going to work for me, I'll probably make this a little bit of a holder or a mold instead of a couple pieces of wood or a clamp. Um, that way I can push against something. I'm just using my hand right now. And you can see that how easy this is. It just really bends the polarizer back. This is the first layer. Much easier than trying to heat it up or uh, use a, a razor blade on it. It takes a lot less time. And I find this to be the best method for using this. Uh, I just wanted to share it with you guys of, of how to do it and how it works. Uh, I definitely made sure the soldering iron uh, was on for a good 15 minutes before I went to start doing this. It's a larger surface area for the blade, so it takes longer to heat up. Um, but just so you're aware, this is a good method to uh, help remove the polarizers off of a, an iPhone 5 screen. Cool. Now, if you saw this video and it uh, helped you out, go ahead and hit the uh, like button. Uh, you can definitely get a new polarizer off of eBay for a couple of bucks. I mean, they're three or four bucks, so they're pretty cheap. And you can see how much glue is actually removed with it. Just use a little bit of acetone or alcohol to clean the screen up and put a new polarizer on. A little video of uh, doing that uh, when I have time as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video.